Tell me what happens here at Deb's Spicy Pie. Everything happens at Deb's Spicy Pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chris Dallin with A Long Way Home. We're here in downtown Morgan, Utah. We found a little pizza and sub place called Deb Spicy Pie. We understand it's unique. There's a lot of homemade goods as well as a lot of love that goes into a great pizza pie. Check it out on your long way home. So what's the secret to Deb Spicy Pie? We, I just like good food, and so I make it the way I like it. Everything's from scratch, except I do buy canned sauce and then add to it. So it has good flavor and everything. Make it a little spicy. My dough is the best. I have everybody telling me that. It's not like New York or Chicago. It's like Deb's. It's, it's Deb's. So if you want the real deal, you yeah. come to Deb's, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's nice and firm. Tastes like it's made with a whole lot of love to me. It is. <laughs> of course, everything I do. We just discovered this fine pizza here a little while back, and so now we'll be coming often. Well, it started off as a pizza and a sub place, and I had it over on the other side of town. Then after 9-11 and people just quit coming, I closed it down for about five years. And at that time, my sister owned a drive-in that my dad had built when I was about 10, and I worked for her for five years. So I figured if I was gonna keep on cooking, that I might as well do my thing again. So my older brother and I decided to get my dad's cafe and put it over here. So so what's the secret of that? You, it looks like you cut it on the back of your hand. Oh, geez. That's like a weapon in Deb's hands. <laughs> and you just let it stretch out. That's it. Tell me what kind of Deb spicy pie you got going on there. I got a pepperoni pizza and then their garlic cheese bread, which is really good. Now this is a historical building it appears. What what was this at one time? It was my grandpa's cafe, uh, my dad's cafe, and at uh, one time it was a two separate buildings and uh, one was a toy store and one was a restaurant. How long ago did your family start these? Oh, probably 1930s. Really? So it's been in the family for a while. Oh yeah. So there's a sense of place here for you then. Oh yeah, it's my home. What makes Deb's Spicy Pie so great? Um, I think it's Deb's like love for not only her food, but the community. She puts like so much hard work and dedication into her business and that's what keeps people coming back, I think too. My brother built the bar, everything built the tables and he did most of the stuff on the walls. We found that poster of uh, Roy Rogers in the ceiling that we tore out. Oh, really? Yeah, so, uh. so I don't even know what year that was. My husband's grandpa had up in his barn and my brother had all those tools. The branding iron was my husband's. He was killed in 82, so I just kind of put some of his stuff around so I don't forget him. So Ethan, tell me what I've got going on here. Uh, right there you have a pizza pocket, all meat. An all meat pizza pocket. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this a go, Ethan. So is there some, some way that I need to eat it? Is there some protocol I need to do before I eat this pizza pie? Just dig in. Or pizza pocket, oh, sorry. Yeah. So, okay, so just, just dig in. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn good. I gotta tell you. I think one thing that's like different from her is she doesn't like punish us for mistakes. She like teaches us that that's okay, but like just to put our best work into all we do. I have kids that come back that say that I've been the best boss. <laughs> so, well, uh, I believe that, Deb. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd work for you. Hey, been on apron. Well, uh, I'm a good sweeper. <laughs> good. I think that this whole running a business thing is hard, but she's taken a lot of personal time and like blood, sweat, and tears for it, and it pays off, so it's oh, really oh, good. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thanks for talking to us. Are we supposed to eat this too? Yes. Deb, for those that haven't ever been here before, both here at Deb's 
and at Morgan, what advice would you have for them? Oh, they should come. They shouldn't live here, but they should come and eat here. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. It's, it's a great place to live. It's a, it's a nice town. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. <laughs> Deb, thanks for sharing with us. You're we appreciate welcome. it.